song in your heart was an open book. Used to say, live and let live. You know you did, you know you did, you know you did. Aguardo, <laughs> oh, didn't you? Yeah, man. Well, hey, it's uh, Thursday. I think it's the 16th. Maybe the 17th. I don't even know, man. I don't know the dates. It's summer, man. It's summer. I get to make it. Hold on. Let me find out. I don't want to lie to you. The 16th, yeah. And uh, this is for the June 25th fight for the WBA Super World, you know, uh, middleweight title. And that's between Felix Sturm and Matthew Macklin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down both fighters and then I will give my prediction at the end. Okay? All right, so let's go with that. Start off with Felix Sturm. He's uh, 35, 2, and 1, 15 knockouts. Not big on the power, as, as you say, but he's looked very sharp in his last couple wins, especially over Hearns and Gravore. And, uh, you know, he beat Sylvester. He's avenged his only uh, real losses, and that was to Castillo and the uh, Castillejo. Castillejo. And uh, Griffin. And the other loss was to Oscar De La Hoya and, you know, that's debatable on whether or not that was a loss. He has nine straight title defenses now. So, you know, when you think about it, if you're going who is Felix Sturm, you need to check yourself a little bit because fighters that had nine title defenses deserve some recognition. Hello? Anybody out there? Hello? You there, Guardo? And, uh, you know, a little bit of props there. Obviously, he's got very quick hands. He's got a very good stinging jab, throws, pumps those out two and three at a time, doubles up the hooks, uh, goes to the head and body with those as he's doubling them up. He has a nice high D. He's a very sneaky with his overhand rights, works the body very well. He's still not a big inside fighter, but that's usually what you find out with these guys that tend to like the box and stay on the outside. Uh, tends to freeze, though, when he is put on the ropes, so that is one of his drawbacks. And he's not extremely active as far as when it comes to, like, a punch output. He's not going to really be like a Joe Calzaghe and pump out 100 punches around, but he will pump out 55, you know, and do very well in those with his combinations and things alike. Gets in, gets out, doesn't stick around. It's not really in there to get hit. Uh, going over to uh, Matthew Macklin, who's 28 and 2 with 19 knockouts. He's a, s a little bit smaller in height and reach when it comes to uh, going up against Sturm, and uh, he is the EBU middleweight champion. So. He's got some, some stuff going for him there. He was knocked out by Jamie Moore, who was also knocked out by a light middleweight in Rhodes. Um, and that's the best fighter that he's fought so far, and he got knocked out by him. Not a lot, top, uh, not a lot of top fighters on his resume. He's only had uh, 13 fights that have went 10 or longer, and, uh, and only five 12-round fights. So when you start looking at that, you know, stepping up for a world title... You know, this this could weigh into it, in effect. And of those uh, 13, seven have went the distance, and he lost two of them. So he's 11-2 and two with uh, the bigger fights. He was a 2001 ABA uh, champion in the amateurs, welterweight. Very good amateur boxer. He's active. He has good movement. He throws the combos. He works that jab out there. He does the head and body very well. He has a nice high guard. He has good hand speed and a lot of feints. When you watch him, he drops the right after throwing. Whenever he throws that right, boom, the right hand comes down. And he tends to chicken wing it out as he's pumping out his left hand. The right hand just kind of goes out there in its own little zone, its own little land. Fly away, fly, fly away, Clarice. And uh, he doesn't get too wild. He keeps his composure and does very well with that. But had this been uh, numerous other fighters, I'd be saying Macklin definitely, but... In this one, it's looking like Felix Sturm defends his title for the 10th time, and that is a unanimous decision. I don't think he'll knock out Macklin, but you can't put it out of the picture because Macklin has shown he can get knocked out. So, But I'm going to UD for Felix Sturm, and, you know, should be an exciting fight, and hopefully, uh, you know, Macklin makes it, makes it very exciting. Okay? So, hey, it's a big ragu. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe, be my friend. All right? Wait, well, hey, I'm out.